Right everyone, Wayne well Fletcher here. Right, I'm going to attempt to do a mustard patina on my machete bowie. So what I'm going to try to do is use this, uh, it's a sticker um, thing, I don't know what you call it, but you know, it's lettered stickers. But I'm going to try and cut out where they've been used, I'm going to try and cut out around this W and the C and possibly 2018. Stick them on here and then try and do a mustard patina for WC for weapon collector in 2018 on the other side. So we'll do this and see if it works. So all if you want to follow along and try it yourself, I think high carbon steel blades are best so this should be fine. You're going to want some American style mustard but it's pretty much any mustard that's got a lot of vinegar in. This mustard, the second ingredient was vinegar, so it should have quite a lot of vinegar in it. Some some kind of tape, possibly. Some scissors that aren't in a frame. You don't need to use these. You could just paint it on or whatever, and a little paintbrush. But I want to use these, and I want to see if I can get a decent outline out. So what I'm going to do now is cut those out and stick them on, and I'll come back. Right, so I've got my design on, so it'll be WC one side and 2018 the other side. The zero is slightly wonky, but I'm not really bothered by that. So, now we will try and put the mustard on and see what happens. So, supposedly you're not supposed to put too much on, because if you put too much on it sort of acts like a barrier almost. So you want it thin on there. So, let's see how it goes. Doesn't matter if it doesn't work. Um, we'll certainly give it a good go. going to try and give it sort of equal layer if possible. Don't think I'm gonna be able to either, but I'll certainly try to. It's actually quite difficult. Because you sort of take it off as you brush. But I think the overall effect should be quite good anyway still. I'll tell you what, let's try that. Right, that'll do. Not sure if I've put too much on though. But we'll come back in a couple of hours. Right, so this is after about an hour, and you can see that is actually doing something. You can actually see that has rusted that there, and I'll show you the other side. So what I'm going to do now, I'll do this on camera, I'm going to wipe off some of the excess, see what it looks like underneath. And then what we'll do is a couple more coats afterwards. Yeah, that is actually going to be the finish by the looks of it. Because not a lot of that is coming off. So that definitely should have worked. So what I'm going to do is wipe this off. Actually, there are. He's coming off a little bit under there. So, I'm not actually sure now. What I'm going to do is wipe off as much as I can and then reapply it on both sides. Right, so I took quite a lot off. Now we're going to reapply the mustard again. Pretty much how we did the first time. And then I'm going to leave this for probably another 
uh, at least an hour anyway before I look at it again. Try to get rid of any of the little lumpy bits on the edges because I noticed where those are, that's where it doesn't bond. Better off a thinner line, something like that. So I'll carry on with that and then we'll come back later. Right, so this is the second coat on both sides. I'll show you the other side. And I'll tell you what I'll do now. I will take off the tape and all that and then we'll give it a clean see how it came out like. Now this really is only after um, about four hours altogether. So two hours for the first coat, two hours for the second coat. <clears throat> you can leave it a lot longer but I'm going to try it like this for now because I haven't really got time. It's going to get dark soon and it'll, I'll have to wait for another day to do the video and I want to get it done in one day. So. The next part, you'll see this off and it cleaned and we'll see what it looks like. Right, here's the finished patina using the mustard. Quite a subtle um, sort of design. The 2018 shows up a little bit more, I don't know if that's just from the angle of the light. It's not perfect, but as you can see, with those kind of um, <clears throat> templates, it certainly is possible to etch a detailed um, picture onto a blade. It doesn't come out perfect, but that's probably d due to the um, stickers. I've got a bit of stuff down the sides there. But if I wanted to, I could always just take this back off anyway. I just thought I'd do it as a quick experiment, see whether you can get a decent lettering with it. And I know this obviously works, <clears throat> but can you do this with it? Well, it looks like you can, and with a bit more care, it will come out quite good, I think. Right, there it is. That is the mustard patina um, doing some lettering. Right, hope you the video. See you later. Before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearbest. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.